tested. Wish me luck. This is the difference between easily going onto French registration, which I need to do very quickly, or um, not. the workshop everybody I have got it's safety test the control technique English MOT basically it's road safety test and that can go one or two ways it has had a recent UK one but it's much stricter in France so I'm gonna hope for that one and ultimately I need to give it a oil change and hope that that cures some of the other issues because it does have a still has a slight misfire and that could well be something to do with the oil so apparently it was maserati, maserati only oil filter and a local company has said they've got one that isn't maserati so let's hope it's the right one so i have to check that first this is my first look underneath this car i might add as well and i am pleasantly surprised because it's looking good. It's looking good. And now, where's the oil filter? Hello? Hello, oil filter. Let's see if you match the one I've just been given. Oh, this is what I've just been given. Let's, um, let's see. Uh, I am not sure. Oh, minor oil leak there. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. LS 928A. Just going to, before I put any additives into the oil. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We know we can undo that. That's not seized. So now I'll drop it down, put some additives in the oil and run it for a bit. So I'm going to put a bit of this in it. Let's just basically an engine flush. So it'll go in the oil now, it's up to running temperature, you leave the car idle for about 15 minutes. It floats around, gets rid of gunky deposits, old uh, crap oil, that sort of stuff. Then we'll drain the whole lot out. So just got, to, now I know I can definitely drain the old oil out because I can undo that sump, easy. All right. We'll leave you for 15 minutes. Right, okay, that's time to, that'll do. Time to take, turn the car off and wheel over. My new toy, I get to use a new tool. My oil drain, woo -hoo. Okay. Up we go, back up in the air and time for the oil to drain out. Yeah. That is doing its job. I'll let that drain every last drop and clear up. But there. What's that then? Because that is something gripping from directly above. What we have, yeah, we have coolant dripping and it's there. And, it dripped, and that's coming down, but where that's coming from is another matter because that's hitting a chassis rail and moving along it. And it's going around that, a bit of rust there. There's some marks all over. And that's probably, a pipe. A pipe's got a small splitting aspect. 
this that's not too bad actually or oh, the expansion tank worst place for an oil filter ever look just dip straight onto the part of the subframe oh i'll wait for that to drain out and then we'll see if we uh, got the right filter or not i'm really not sure what to make of this they are looking the same internally and externally but as I want to flush this oil through, so I'm going to do another oil change reasonably soon. Again, just let fresh oil get rid of all the, move everything round, and then drain it again. I think I'll order the original Maserati oil filter, which is about 60 euros. This one was 22. So this one just be sacrificial, same as this. 70 quid's worth of oil, and then we'll uh, change it and do it properly. Let's see if it fits. New filter fits. Uh, cleaned up all the missing oil. Going to have a better look for that fluid leak in a minute. But let's get some oil in it and run it. First five litres, I think it's 9.7. Which looking at what came out of it would look about right. Come on, little dipstick. That is a 20 litre paraffin container. And I always said that's about half full. So yeah, 9.7 litres, I reckon. I've got some more to go then. <clears throat> Okie dokie, we have oil. And the oil lights out. We're sounding good. We are sounding good. being tested. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is the difference between easily going on to French registration, which I need to do very quickly, or um, not. <laughs> At which point this has all been a silly escapade because I can't be going back to the UK and getting sold again, which will be a little bit disappointing. Are we after the good news or the bad news? Do we think it passed? Sort of. So, there are some things in there which I completely um, get. So, first one, what's that uh, frame session? So, parking brake is insufficient. This one's been sat. Um, the headlights are not in the right direction because it's a right hand drive in a left hand drive country. Um, it has odd tyres in the front, they've got to be the same make and model tyre on each axle, that's fine. Um, uh, what's it? The emissions are out. Um, orientation, uh, what's that? So the tyres, what did I miss? Orientation, uh, window tint film. Right, and then what we've we got is minimal, bit of corrosion on the chassis, that's fine, but I've got a ramp that'll get sorted. So nothing major, but the emissions are way out, and that is because it's still not running right. Everything on that is fairly easy, apart from the emissions, because that is related to the way it runs, and ultimately we need it running properly to pass emissions, but we also need it running properly to 
be a usable car. And I am supposed to be taking this, the Le Mans 24 hour in June. I mean, that's only an hour and a half away if something goes wrong, but that's the test. The test is because it's a lot of traffic, it's hot, you know, this needs to be running right, but ultimately it's an hour and 45 minutes from my house. So, and there's lots of friends there, so if there are problems, I can get a lift back, get my car, trailer, get the Range Rover, go down and pick it up. But that's the test. If it can handle all of the heat, the traffic, everything else in June, because after that, it's supposed to be doing a 5,000 kilometer round trip out to the trans Garrison Highway, one of the best driving roads in the world, in Romania, on a big road trip. So, we're one step closer, but we're not running right. But I'm sure we'll do it. See you next time, thanks for watching.